Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to unbox the Tenda Wireless N300 Easy Setup Router. It's a router from Tenda, its model is F3. You can get it anywhere, it's so popular these days. So today I'm going to unbox it and show you how to set it up so that you don't face any problems with it. It has amazing features and uh, I oh, quite like it as well. Okay, hope you will enjoy. Okay, so let's get inside it. So this is what you get inside. This is the manuals and accessories and this is the main original router we get. Okay, let's just unbox it. Okay, as you can see it's fresh. It has no problem. I bought it just before some days. Okay, this is the router. Okay, let's start setting it up. With it, we got the power adapter and the Ethernet cable to connect to your PCs or laptop, whatever you connect. Okay, so here we have all the ports. As you can see, uh, this port is for WAN, where you connect the Ethernet cable from your DSL modems and whatever. And these are the three ports you get for your LAN okay and this is the adapter port power port which with which you can just plug in and turn that on this is the WPS or uh, reset button this helps to reset your Wi-Fi and all other things okay so let's get started to setting up okay so as uh, you can see my uh, my router has been set at uh, set off uh, I have connected the power port and the WAN port. This is my internet cable that comes from the internet company I get. And this is the cable that connects to the PC. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, now that I have connected my Tender router to my laptop, as you can see it is connected. Okay, now you what you have to do is go to any browser from your PC uh, I am using Chrome browser from here because it is easier for me to do it from this you can use any browser it is supported with Mozilla Internet Explorer and all okay now what you have to do is just log in to the IP address uh, you get a default IP uh, for any router you buy uh, for tender you get uh, 192.168.0.1 okay this is the login address for tender okay let's do it okay as you can see this is the tender logging uh, option uh, the default password for your login is always admin you can see at the back of the router you always get the password in, in it okay as you can see I am connecting it okay uh, so here you get internet connection setup okay uh, I am using here PPoE because in most of the countries we use broadband connection which is uh, we get uh, username and password from our ISP local internet server provider uh, so here you can see I have provided my PPoE username and PPoE password you can fill it up with yours okay and this is MGU value uh, I refer please you do not change this this is a default uh, value which is 1480 uh, just don't mess with it okay here you get wireless setup SSD Wi-Fi name the Wi-Fi name you would like to see when you are uh, connecting any Wi-Fi so that you can identify your network uh, the security key which you will give so that your uh, connection is protected by a password okay then just hit the OK button and you're good to go okay so yes we are done uh, with uh, configuring this router and now you can see uh, we can see the WAN status the internet connection status and everything uh, here you can also see what how many clients are connected uh, for how much time the router is running and all uh, Here you get plenty of options in Tenda I which I like is you get the help which is very helpful and 
everything is very quite organized the wireless wireless security and all in wireless security it's good that you give your w uh, security to wpa2 to pst it is the most security you get in your router and all these things you can read and just change whatever you want uh well that's the ba basic of everything and Hope you will not face any more problems and if you face any problems please comment down here and thanks for watching make sure you subscribe for more upcoming videos thank you very much